eight Kenyan police officers have been killed in the eastern part of the country. Local police say the officers died after their vehicle was hit by an improvised explosive device at the Bojigaras area in Wajir County. The Somali militants group Al-Shabaab is the main suspect, but there's been no claim of responsibility as yet. Earlier this month, five Kenyan police officers were killed in a similar attack in the same region. The group has carried out attacks in the region before. Three of them have taken place this year alone. And let's bring you more on this story too. CGTN's Abdulaziz Billa joins us now live from Mogadishu, rather on the line from Mogadishu. Uh, Abdulaziz, of course, reports that uh, the Kenya Defense Force is already responding, that they've conducted airstrikes in southern Somalia following this weekend attack. Can you confirm this? What is the latest on these reports? Well, Lindy, according to local media reports here in Somalia, the Kenya Defense Forces, KDF, and who are part of Amazon, uh, did conduct airstrikes over the weekend here, especially in a region known as Gedo, that is uh, along the border between Somalia and uh, Kenya. Now, interestingly to note is that uh, only two African Union countries with forces in Somalia uh, have aerial capabilities, that is KDF and the Ethiopian military. Now, going back to the question, is the attack... Uh, the strike rather targeted uh, uh, a place known as El Adde, that is in the region, quite a familiar scene for Kenyan Defense Forces uh, who lost scores of soldiers there in a deadly attack in January 2016. And uh, there's no official comment yet regarding those uh, strikes other than uh, reports from local media and uh, locals in the region who confirm that the strikes did take place over the weekend. Also, no comment from Amazon. No comment from the Kenyan military regarding that strike either. No comment from the military here in Somalia. But then again, it comes after uh, an IED attack killed eight police officers over the weekend in Wajir, uh, uh, there in northeastern Kenya, that has become very prone to Al Shabaab ambushes and Al Shabaab IED attacks there, especially during uh, festive season. But uh, then again, it's quite common for the militant group to carry out such kinds of attacks, especially in a region that is very, very uh, porous. Uh, the border is very porous. So what uh, experts here are saying is uh, that uh, Al-Shabaab is trying to use IED attacks in uh, northeastern Kenya so that it can be able to cause more casualties and uh, not lose its fighters in any of those uh, attacks. And Abdulaziz, I mean, as you suggested, uh, this border region seems to be coming under attack more often um, and more insecurity on the border between Kenya and Somalia. Does this trend suggest perhaps that the group is being forced out of the capital, Mogadishu? Well, Lindy, uh, technically the Al-Shabaab militant group uh, pulled out of Somalia in August 2011, pulled out of Mogadishu, rather. But when it was pulling out, Al-Shabaab was very specific. It said that it was pulling out, but it was pulling out because of uh, uh, new changing its tactics, that from a conventional warfare to a guerrilla warfare. That is the system that they're trying to use. So here in Mogadishu, despite the fact that Amazon and Somali government controls the, uh, the, the city right now, you still find uh, deadly attacks taking place here in Mogadishu, especially in the month of Ramadan, as scores of people, government officials, security personnel, and innocent civilians were killed uh, in uh, deadly attacks, uh, most of them by assassins here during uh, the Ramadan. So the militant group is changing tactics here in the city, carrying out uh, bombings in areas that are fortified, including airports and the intelligence facility and the presidential palace, and it's using uh, IED attacks to attack African Union troops on the move. So basically, it's changing the whole uh, tactic here in Somalia and putting a strain on security forces here uh, in Mogadishu. Despite the government saying that they have uh, heightened security here in uh, Mogadishu, it seems that the military group never runs out of ideas. So the fact that uh, uh, the long and porous and uncontrolled border is there with Kenya is partly to blame for the reason that the Al-Shabaab is trying to attack uh, northeastern Kenya. Abdulaziz, thank you so much for that update. Joining us there on the line from Mogadishu.